It is respec time. So this means two, uh, we have to do two things. We've got to respec and then reallocate our points. And then we're going to have to re-equip uh, because we're going to have to use, uh, we're going to go light armor instead of heavy armor. And we're going to have to change things up with our weaponry a little bit too because of the skills that we're going to take. Okay, so let's go ahead and wipe our mind clean. Here we go. That must have hurt. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and this is the Wasteland Survival Series, where we play this game on insane difficulty. The zombies are all set to nightmare speed. We play on a map that's made up almost entirely of the Wasteland, but I'm generated by the Nitrogen World Generator. And uh, we've got... Uh, we, we're going to do a transition in this episode. Uh, I'm going to actually pause the game, because I'm running out of daylight, and I want to get over to the trader. Um, so basically what we're going to do is uh, we are going to uh, mind wipe... Uh, so we're going to take Grandpa's Forgetting Elixir. And I'm going to respec into an Agility uh, Perception build. So that's kind of what we're going to do in this episode. I don't know that we'll really get into any action this episode, uh, but we definitely will in the next episode uh, because I have a Tier 5, uh, my first Tier 5 quest in the city, uh, in the hospital, as a matter of fact. And that's going to be interesting. Boy, I'll tell you what. And hospital's no joke. Uh, so yeah, this episode's going to be more about just, you know, the respec and how we're going to equip it, um, and, uh, and all that sort of thing. Now, um, uh, before we do that though, I just wanted to show you that I've got all this stuff to sell again. So I'm going to load all this up. Uh, I also have, um, a couple more things down here. I'm going to load all this up into, uh, the Jeep, take it over to the trader, sell it, and then I'll show you how much, uh, we get from that. Uh, let's see. I, I found this, uh, Night Stalker Volume 6. Uh, gain 5% more XP from kills at night, so we're going to take that. Uh, we'll take Grandpa's Elixir when we get back. I've also found, uh, since I last left you, uh, two cigars, as a matter of fact. Uh, so we're going to take uh, the two awesome sauces with us, and uh, we're going to wear the cigar. Um, uh, you know what? We could probably actually wear that all the time, huh? Because that's, that's actually not eyewear. Of course it isn't. It's a damn cigar. <laughs> Didn't even think about that. Okay, that's cool. Um, and if you guys didn't already know this, of course, the cigar not only gives you more strength, but it gives you 10% bartering, which is fantastic. Okay, so uh, I'm going to get this stuff loaded up. I'm going to keep all the coin, uh, the current coin that we have here. Um, so that way, uh, when I'm all done, you can see <clears throat> um, how much money we made. And then um, I will bring you back and we will get busy uh, working on the respec. Okay, so I'll be back in a bit. All right, guys, so this is the last of the our stuff. So we made uh, about 50,840 coin off of selling that stuff. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, all right, let's see. He restocks on day 103. So I think this is a new inventory. Um, I can get this for 28,000. This is normally 40,000, but with the cigar and, you know, I've got a little bit of a, of the awesome sauce left. I think I'm going to grab this now. I already have one, um, but I'm... You know, I'm I'm probably gonna do multiple respects. Uh, arrow rest mod schematic. Hmm. We already have one of those. We have the actual schematic. So, all right, let's look and see what else he has in the inventory. I'm still looking for electrical relays, and I'm looking for um, steel, uh, steel crossbow bolt schematic. I have the I've made steel arrowheads, but I can't actually use them because. Okay, let's buy that ammo. We just ran out of forgetting elixir, but that's okay. So we can we can at least buy the ammo, but I want to be able to of course make it. So okay, this is all the stuff I sold to him. All the stuff we got, you know, from from finishing up the POIs in the green biome, and I also have Let's done blood, a stranger. whole mess of car wrenching and stuff, uh, as well as mining, so I'm going to show that to you just kind of in preparation for this respec. And, you know, we're getting to the point where there's there really isn't any more big ticket items that we need to buy, except for, of course, the Forgetting Elixir itself. Uh, so now we have two of those because we just got a really good price on them. Let's put the other awesome sauce back in there so i've got 45 excuse me of those so let's put those up there for the moment and we'll combine all of our cash now uh, because we're going to do the respec 
we um like i said i spent hours literally hours um i don't know probably four or five hours yesterday uh, i basically put audible on uh, and listened to a, a really cool audio, audio book and just mined the crap out of everything and then after i was done doing that then i went out and wrenched a bunch of cars uh, so that I could get kind of some supplies up so I wouldn't have to worry about mining and salvage operations and, and whatnot, you know, for a while. So basically, you can see here that we've got stacks and stacks and stacks of iron. Um, plus, we already have a bunch of forged iron and forged steel already made up. Uh, so we won't need to be mining that stuff anytime soon. Uh, you can see I've got a whole bunch of uh, brass from wrenching cars and a pretty really, actually a very good supply of lead. Uh, so we shouldn't need those supplies for quite some time. We've got tons of stone in there. Um, in here, I've got several stacks of nitrate and several stacks of coal uh, for making gunpowder. Plus, we already have, you know, all these bullet casings and bullets and shot, uh, buckshot and whatnot made up. So we're in really good shape as far as resources go. Now, I've, I'm going to have to, you know, cook a bunch of this stuff up. Um, but we're in, we're in really good shape. So what that means is, for the time being anyways... I'm not going to need to mine um, or wrench cars uh, because I also have 3,000, or I'm sorry, 30,000, uh, basically three full stacks of gasoline. Uh, and because we're not going to really be using the auger or the chainsaw or any of that stuff for quite some time, um, that should last us for, for a decent amount of time. I think we have, yeah, we have 2,500 more inside of here. Uh, so we're in really, really good shape. So that means, guys, that I don't need to worry about mother load, and I don't need to worry about salvage operations for this respec. Now, remember, we got tons of cash. You know, this is our total money that we have now. So we've got uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we've got a hundred thousand uh, dukes plus, you know, another nine, uh, almost ten, almost one hundred and ten thousand right there. So we got plenty of money. Plus, we have two uh, forgettings, and so you know, in in the later part of this playthrough. Uh, you know, we're probably going to do a couple of respects. And like I said, that's really the only other big ticket item that I would spend money on anyways. I mean, what else am I going to do with all this money, right? Uh, so we'll we'll buy forget the lectures and we'll just respec as needed. However, um, it might be quite some time before we actually need to go mining again because of all the resources, you know, that I've managed uh, to get. Okay, so that being said, um, the plan for this respec is uh, that we're going to look... At, uh, by the way, I have almost a full chest of... Uh, of cement too i might be doing some more building in the mega city later on i haven't decided that yet so that's kind of why i've continued you know to to build that stuff up so the idea here for the respec is that we're going to respec into agility i've been talking about this for quite some time now and i want to do a stealth build uh, but we're also going to re we're also going to throw a bunch of points into perception because there's a bunch of things in the perception tree that I want to have along with this stealth build. So we have we have up until now we've been a strength focused build. Um, so we've used our shotgun a lot, uh, and you know all the mining skills and that sort of thing. And we've been a fortitude focus, uh, focused, <laughs> a fortitude focused build, uh, particularly for you know machine gunner living off the land and pain tolerance and whatnot. Now we're going to put a couple more points into here, um, you know, because we have a, a we have a garden. It's fully planted, and oh, that's another thing I was going to tell you. It looks like it's even ready to harvest too. You know what? If that's ready to harvest, we should actually do that now. Well, and I'll take advantage of my you know three fruit per crop because I'm not going to take that in the respec. I'm I'm going to take it only going to take it up to where I can get two. Uh, but speaking of which, I, I've been making. Look at all this food, man. This is like top of the line food here, and um, so you know we're we're we are really set for food for quite some time. Uh, we got chili dogs, we got fish tacos, steak and potatoes, veggie stew, uh, meat stew, blueberry pies, um, pumpkin pies. I know damn near all of the recipes just, you know, from finding them. Uh, the only ones I still need are hobo stew, pumpkin bread, pumpkin cheesecake, and, you know, can of sham. But, I mean, we find so much sham, I don't even know what the point of that is. It really is. Unless you, you know, want to make it so you can make the other stuff. No point in making hobo stew. I mean, why would you eat hobo stew when you can eat sham chowder and vegetable stew and steak and potatoes, you know what I mean? I, I know it's just a video game, but that's always just really grossed me out thinking about eating that because it's made out of, you know, rotten meat and all that kind of thing. Uh, so, yeah, we got a couple more recipes that we might come by, but we certainly do not need them. Um, but, yeah, you know what? Let's do that. Let's go harvest the garden really quick just and, you know, take advantage of one more harvest with our uh, three per crop 
setting. I have to be careful because sleepers will respawn even in my garden because this is a sleeper spawn point. Um, yeah, so let's harvest this one last time, and then uh, when we do the respec, I, I am going to take... I am going to take uh, Living Off the Land 2, Gardener. Wait. No, actually, I'm only going to take Gatherer. That's all I really need because I don't need to craft any more seeds. And I I don't give a shit about farm plots costing less because we already have all our farm plots. So, yeah, we'll actually only have to take one point, which means we don't have... Okay, that's actually good. I was thinking I had to take level two. Uh, so, yeah, let me get this harvested really quick and then we'll continue. Okay, guys, we harvested the garden... Got a bunch more produce here. Um, I turn all the, I'm turning all the aloe vera into uh, aloe cream. Um, so we can make bandages. Speaking of which, uh, we've got a nice little supply of bandages and a pretty decent supply of, of first aid kits. Tons of pills. I, I should probably even maybe consider selling some of those, but we'll see. Uh, plenty of uh, antibiotics, so we're in really good shape, you know, for medical stuff too for quite some time. Okay, so... It is respec time. So this means two, uh, we have to do two things. We've got to respec and then reallocate our points. And then we're going to have to re-equip uh, because we're going to have to use, uh, we're going to go light armor instead of heavy armor. And we're going to have to change things up with our weaponry a little bit too because of the skills that we're going to take. Okay, so let's go ahead and wipe our mind clean. Here we go. That must have hurt. <laughs> And here we go. Okay, so we got maximum agility. Now, uh, we want maximum gunslinger without exception. And um, so, you know, this gives us 50% uh, more damage, 25% faster fire rate, 30% faster reload, critical damage, three successive hits in a short time cause the last shot to do 100% extra damage. That's pretty damn good. Um, we're going to mostly use the, the MP5 or the, or the SMG. Um, I'm... I don't know if I'm going to use pistols or not, because, I mean, you know, I, obviously, you know, the Magnum and even the 9mm has more power per shot than the SMG does. So I guess, you know, if, if we're doing sneak kills, that that would be better. I don't know. I'll think about that. I'll think about that. But definitely the SMG is going to take essentially take the place of the M60, and I'm probably going to actually have two SMGs on my toolbar just because you know we don't have the capacity on an smg that we do on this single gun so we're we're in when we're getting rushed and we're in those really bad oh shit situations um you know we're gonna have two smgs on the toolbar so we can quickly switch from one to the next all right uh we're we're definitely taking archery all the way most of our sneak shots are going to be uh archery shots because of uh, because they're quiet right um and so Ranger gives us 50% more damage, 50% faster aim, draw, and reload with bows. And I'm assuming that also applies to crossbows. Uh, okay. And we want Hidden Strike all the way maxed out. So that makes us an assassin. You are now the ultimate assassin. Can deal maximum sneak damage to your victim. Sneak attacks deal an extra 200% damage. Beautiful. And then, of course, we want From the Shadows because we are doing a stealth build. So Shadow Ninja, hide in the shadow 65% more effectively, noises from actions are muffled 50%, and sneak movement is 50% faster. Awesome. Okay, so that's all I really want right now in the agility field. We might do deep cuts. The reason I would do deep cuts is we have a really nice machete. We have actually had this for a very long time. Um, and it could take, it could fulfill the dual role of, you know, butchering animals and being our melee weapon. Um, the, the one thing the machete can't do that the sledge can, though, is it's, you know, it can't really break stuff. Not like this thing can. Um, so, you know, I don't know. We're, we're probably not going to keep using the sledge anyway uh, at this point. Let's just see how our points go. So right now, I'm not going to put anything else into agility, but we might come back here later. Uh, running gun's really actually a pretty damn good one to have, both, you know, because you're, you're when you shoot from the hip, you're more accurate, and probably more importantly, you know, once you get all the way to trigger, man, you don't slow down at all when you're trying to reload while you're running away. Um, but that's not a high priority one. Light armor is another one, however, um, that we might do mostly because we can craft. All right, what does Commander do? You're now fit to be a Commander. Reduce light armor movement penalty by 75% and stamina penalty by 50, improve durability. Yeah, see, durability just doesn't seem to be a big deal in 7 days Shia Alpha 18 
repair kits are so cheap and even you know level one armor lasts for quite some time so i just don't care about durability so we, we might we might consider putting go, going up to gladiator just so i can make quality five um military armor um and i can also make the stealth boots you know which we are going to make and so this would allow us to make quality five stealth boots because if I make them right now, uh, without any points in this, they're just going to be durability one boots. Not that I care about the durability as much as I care about, you know, the mod slots, right? So, yeah, that one, that one, you know what, I think we're going to do it. But I'm only going to take this up to level four. I'm not going to take commander because I just don't think that that's worth, you know, worth it. Okay, so that's it for the moment for agility. Now, let's go to perception. And again, we're going to max perception all the way out. Okay, and obviously we want Lucky all the way to the top. Um, we want... Okay, now we're going to want... Um, we're going to want Deadeye. And the reason for that is because we're also going to take Penetrator all the way to the top. And what Penetrator does, the Penetrator does, ignore 35% of armor with firearms and archery... Armor piercing rounds can penetrate three additional targets or a block of up to a thousand hit points when using hunting or marksman rifles. Not so concerned about the block necessarily, though that could be a, a way to break blocks quickly, I guess. Uh, more so, you know, and this will this will come in really handy, like for example, on a horde net when you just have a bunch of zombies all lined up, you know, on top of each other. Uh, you know, we can penetrate three targets. Uh, that's pretty useful. Plus. We'll be able to use our marksman rifle. We have a, a blue level marksman rifle, um, and you know this will be our long range sniper. Um, eventually, I hope to come across a silencer too, because then I can put that silencer on, you know, both this and the other weapons, just so we can be even more quiet. Okay, we definitely want demolitions all the way maxed out because this is our horde knight bread and butter. So we are now a demolitions expert. Uh, you make things go boom in a big way. Uh, increase damage fifty percent. Reload. Uh, speed 35%, aim 50% faster, and 45% greater chance to dismember. Uh, stuns last longer on enemies. Unlocks timed charges and contact grenades. Not that we care about that so much. This, again, the reason we're taking this and maxing this out is because of Horde Knight, because we have an explosive base design, so we want our explosions, our explosive skill uh, to be kick-ass, right? Okay, so now that leaves us 14 points to play with. So what I want to do is I want to go to Fortitude, and we want to make sure we take the first point in Gatherer so we can at least get two items from our crops. Okay, so we got that. Um, we're probably... Let's go ahead and once again do Healing Factor, just so you know we can heal over time. And um, we should probably put a point into Pain Tolerance like we had before. Okay? Uh, I... We're not going to use machine guns, not in this build. So I'm not going to put any points into machine gunners. So we still have 11 points left. Let's go back to perception. Guys, because this is a stealth build and I'm kind of going to be like, you know, a, a, an assassin thief type of character, I guess, at least from a role playing point of view, plus the fact that we want to be as quiet as we can. Um, it's not going to make a whole lot of sense for me to use an auger on a safe. That's going to make all kinds of noise. Uh, so. We're going to go ahead and take just the first level in lockpicking. That allows, <coughs> excuse me, allows me to make a stack of 50 of these. Um, they're super cheap to make, and, you know, if, if we break eight of them each time, so what? Okay, so we're going to take that because it fits with this build. All right, what does that leave us? I had considered doing either a Javelin Master um, or, you know, for our melee, because we need to have a melee weapon of some sort. Uh, so we can either do Javelin Master... Or we could do, like I said earlier, uh, and and um, max out deep cuts, and then use this as both you know our butchering and our melee weapon. So the question is, I mean, I guess theoretically we could do both, but I don't know that it makes sense to do both. Um, you know, there are, there are definitely some some perks you know to agility. Uh, your dexterity deal 30, a 300% headshot and have 50% headshot to remember with bows, handguns, and knives. Yeah, so 50% chance to dismember. Plus, there's a couple of the magazines that I've read, too, you know, uh, that give us bonuses for knives, too. So it does kind of fit with what we're doing. But I don't know, do we... Uh, we could do deep cuts. 
We can take that to five, and we can take run and gun up to five. Um, what's that give us, Trigger Man? You have Master Art of Running Gun. Yeah, hip fire actually is improved by 25%, and you have no movement penalty when reloading. You see, that's pretty that's pretty significant. Uh, we could consider some parkour, too. Um, I mean, that's, that's useful, but I've, I've never really considered that an essential skill in this game. Let's look at Electrician, uh, or Intellect. And we could consider, you know, putting a point in Barter and a point in Daring Adventurer. Um, and we could even use, and we could put one, another point in Intellect itself and then use our, a, um, you know, our nerdy glasses to access the level three. So that's another option. Lots, lots of potential choices. We have 10 points. Per and of course, we're going to continue leveling too as time goes on. So I don't know. I'm thinking... Javelin Master. Mm, you know what? I'm thinking... Oh, you know what? There's... I forgot about something. I forgot about something. I wanted... I wanted points back into 69er. Because uh, we're going to need to be breaking blocks and doors and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. I completely forgot about that. Okay, so... I'll tell you what. Um, we get an extra strength point with the, with the Stogue. But I think what I'm going to do... Is... Let's take this, let's take strength up to three, and we'll take 69er up to three. That way, you know, I mean, I don't want to have to hit on a block for five million years to try and open the damn, you know, break something. Um, but let's just try three, and we'll probably, that's probably all we're going to do. We're not going to use shotguns in this build either. I mean, I've, I, I'm a huge fan of the shotgun in this game, and I've used a lot, of course, up to this point, but not for this particular build. So it really boils down to now, what are we going to do? Do we want to be a javelin master, or do we want to be a knife guy? And I'm not really sure how I feel about that. Let's weigh the pros and cons. If we go knife guy, then we our melee and our butcher weapon is one and the same. So essentially that saves us a slot. Uh, neither one of these weapons are very good at breaking blocks, so you know that's kind of not a factor. The nice thing about the knife, too, is we could get a stealth kill, and it also applies a bleed effect. So, uh, you're a samurai, you can make sushi out of your foes, deal 50% more damage, you can inflict up to 7 bleeding wounds on an enemy, and a power attack inflicts 5. All glancing blows cause 1 bleeding wound. Enemies run 20% slower while bleeding. Okay, so, so that's what we get for that. What do we get for Maximum Javelin Master? You are now a Javelin Master, and if it wasn't the Apocalypse, you could be in the Olympic Spears, do 50% more damage and have 50% more range. See, now, the thing about that I like about this is the, that whole range thing. I mean, we can hit stuff from a long ways away, whereas if we're going to do the knife thing, we're going to have to be up fairly close in their face, which means we're going to be getting hit more often, too. Um, almost all of my stealth kills are probably going to be either from a bow or a silenced, you know, like pistol. I'm not really planning on using the knife, you know, for, for stealth kills a whole lot. So, you know what? Let's do it. We're going to go Javelin Master. It's decided. Okay, and that uses up all our points. All right, guys. So, that is our stealth build. We'll see how this goes. All right, now, I've got a bunch of stuff that I need to do, uh, you know, with weapons and that sort of thing. Uh, so, we, we're, we're going to use our... You know, level five marksman rifle, and we have a uh, we have a level five SMG, and I'm probably going to actually make another one of these. So we have you know the two that I talked about on our toolbar. Um, we've already got a crossbow, and I've already got it um, kitted out with uh, the mods and stuff. Um, so that's our our purple crossbow. Um, we also you know we might come across a, a purple compound bow at some point, and I might try actual bows instead of crossbows, but I don't know, I, I kind of just favor the crossbow in this game, because, you know, zombie game and all that, right? Um, so these guys are also kitted out uh, with the mods. I just kind of messed around and did that earlier. Um, I don't think... Let me see. This doesn't work on an SMG, does it? It does! Oh, wow, I didn't know that. You know, we can make these. This, this is one I actually found. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, that. Let's see how much. I didn't think that worked on here. Let's see how much uh, ammo it'll hold. 
The other thing we're going to do, guys, is I'm going to make a bunch of armor piercing rounds, too. Okay, so we can actually do 59 rounds uh, in these. So if we put two of these on our, our toolbar, uh, basically we have almost the same capacity as, as an M60. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, I didn't think we could do that. So I'm gonna make I'm gonna make another SMG and I'm gonna make another drum, um, uh, you know, drum for it. Right? That's fantastic. Okay. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a whole shitload of of armor piercing nine mil ammo. But we've got we got a bunch that we've looted too, so we might use this up first and then you know moving forward at least in terms of what we craft, we'll use the nine uh, or we'll use the armor piercing. Uh, okay, so. So uh, let's see what else weapons. Yeah, I've got a I've got a purple a steel spear that we looted at some point along the way. So for spear, okay, serrated does bleeding, ten percent chance to cause bleeding, and this does increases damage and durability. Um, only a ten percent chance though, huh? Because we can't use both of these. Temper blade increases damage. You know what? Let's just go for overall increase in damage uh, for that. Uh, we should be able to put a fortifying grip and an ergonomic grip on there. I don't think... Yeah, that can only be installed on clubs. Uh, we should be able to put a burning mod on it, too. Oh, so we can't use this. Okay, what does this do? Uh, decreases stamina usage and increases weapon handling of bows. Does that apply to a crossbow too? No, only only bobos. Okay, bobos. All right, so we can't use that. Um, what else could we maybe put on here then? Probably the durability. Uh, probably the durability one. Uh, do I have one of those? I think I might have one of those on one of our tools here. Yeah, we've got it on the pick and on the shovel. Structural brace mod. You know what? Let's just... Well, actually, can I make that? I guess... Whoops. Maybe I can just flat out make it. Structural... Nope, I can't. I can't. Okay. Well, you know what? We don't use our shovel very often. So let's just pull the structural brace mod off of here. And, you know, I'll, I'll figure something else uh, to put on there later. Let's go modify and we'll put that on there. Now that gives us uh, 34 melee and 87 power attack damage. So I think that's going to be pretty good for our spear. Uh, okay, so that takes care of our weapons. Now what we need to do is armor. And I've got a lot, I've got a lot of things to do here. The first thing we want to do is make the stealth boots. And remember, we've got lots of money. So I could even make all of my military armor and then respec once again and put those, you know, four points into something else. I don't know. We'll see. I'm not going to go batshit crazy with that yet, though, either. Um, all right. So we need armor, military armor parts. Uh, what else do we need? Fiber, leather, duct tape, and sewing kits. We've got some fiber here. I've been buying that from the trader. Leather, duct tape, and sewing kits. Okay. Military stealth boots. And we got our full stack of, uh, of uh, thingy-madoodles there. All right, now, what else do we have for military? We've got, we're not going to use the normal boots because we're going to use the stealth boots. So we've got purple gloves. Uh, we've got a blue vest. And we've got a blue helmet. So we don't have blue pants, right? Right, so we need to make blue... Yeah, we need to make blue pants. Alright, so let's make some blue leg armor. Excellent. Okay, so we got ourselves a full set of military armor. And, uh, you know, probably eventually we'll come across, you know, purples too. And so let's get these repaired. And... We should... Okay, here's the cool thing about the stealth boots, if you don't know. Basically, the stealth boots um, have no stamina use penalty and muffle noise from movement. 
So I don't know if that means it muffles 100% of our noise for movement. It kind of implies that, doesn't it? I don't know. But, um, yeah, so that, that's going to be fantastic. That's going to really help us be stealthy, stealthy, stealth. Okay, now there is one thing I want to just look at. Is the green one better than the blue one? Oh, there we go. It has 2% effect resistance, more effect resistance, but it's one less armor rating, plus the blue one's going to have another mod slot. Okay, so we're going to go with the blue one. Let's look at the helmets. We have two uh, green helmets here. Okay, so this green helmet is actually... Damn. It's better both in armor rating and in effect resistance, but we would lose... We'd lose a mod slot. What about this one? This one's this one's better than the blue one too, but not as. This one's better than even this one. <laughs> ah, shit. Okay, so I get the question is then. Two more points in armor rating and in effect resistance, tra traded for one less mod slot. I think that's probably worth it. I think that's probably worth it. I mean, what would we put in here? We could either put, you know, armor plating. We could put customized fittings. But, you know, even if... You know, obviously, we have to have the light and, and the, the triple cargo storage. So those are, are not optional. So, I mean, we could use this one, but we're putting a plate in it just to match the armor in this, and this is still going to have the better resistance. So, yeah, I think, um, I think this is our our best helmet. I really do. Um, so we're going to go with that. Uh, we got the stealth boots. Did we compare britches? I don't think we did. Okay, so the blue britches are better armor-wise, but they have two less effect resistance. But, again, it's got an extra slot. So I think... And, you know, a little bit better durability. So I think we're going to go with the blue ones. Let's get uh, let's get these things uh, modded up, and then we're going to wrap up this episode. So, uh, for the helmet, obviously we want um, that, and then we're going to want a cargo storage mod. Can I make those? I'd kind of like to keep our our current set intact because you know if we decide to to, to spec back into to strength and whatnot, is it's just already done. Yeah, we can make these. Um, do I have any? Yeah, I've got one. Okay, so let's uh, modify this, and we'll put the one that we do or we currently have on there. Okay, and that is now our new helm, helmet, whatever. Uh, we'll put that there. Okay, now let's do uh, let's do the chest piece next. Okay, so let's get those making. Now, um, we're going to want for this, we're going to want the bandolier, um, an armor plate mod. This is So we have three slots and the triple. You know what? Instead of the armor plate mod, how about if we do an advanced muffled connector, just to make us even that much more quiet, okay? There, and then we'll put the triple storage in there uh, when it's finished. Let's do the pants next. Uh, so for the britches, we have three slots. We only actually have two slots because of the fact that here again we're going to put uh, a triple in there. So let's do an advanced muffle connector and I guess... can Oh, you know what? I found... I was going to I was gonna show this to you. I found night vision goggles too, so we're going to put those to use because it fits with our build. Um, we could do an armor plating mod, or we could do an infittings, uh, or infittings. Can I make the good fittings mods? The customized, I can, okay. Um, let's do that. Excellent. Now, uh, let's do our boots next. So for the boots, we are going to, uh, we're going to use the, this thingamadoodle, impact bracing mod. Um, do I have... What do I have on here now? I got the triple on there now. Okay. So, we want this other triple. Let's 
go ahead and grab this too. We, we're going to put that here, right? Yeah. Excellent. Okay, so for the boots, we got, these. since these are, no, these are blues. Okay, so we, we put the triple on there, we put the uh, the boot thingamadoodle, and then we have another advanced muffled connectors. We'll put that on there too. Man, these boots are going to make us super, super quiet. Super quiet, super quiet. Okay, and then let's put those on. Do I have any more advanced muffle connectors? I don't. Just got the little ones there. Um, all right. So we're going to need a triple storage. We're going to need an advanced muffle connector. We're going to need advanced fittings. And that still leaves us one more slot. So let's make that. Customize fittings. It's interesting that you need steel for that. And then we just need to figure out what our fourth mod's going to be for these gloves. Can we put a plate mod on a glove? I don't know. I don't know if we can do that or not. We can. Okay, well, that decides it then. It gives us a little bit more armor. I just wasn't sure because this is plate you know, armor, so I figured it would go with heavy armor. Okay, so this this is going to take the place oh of our nerdies. Okay, well we won't wear these all the time. Um, I mean I don't even I don't even really like these so much. They kind of turn everything green, but they don't really make anything brighter. But we we'll have to test those out at nighttime. I'm gonna I'm gonna hang on to them for now though, just because. They, you know, they fit with the build, if nothing else, <laughs> you know, from a roleplay perspective, right? Okay, so let's put, uh, hands, hands, hands. Where are we? Where's our hands? Here we go. Uh, modify. We'll put that on there. And then, yeah, we'll put those two fittings on, uh, when they're done. And then that should kit us out. All right, guys. Well, I think, uh, we're going to wrap this up. So what I'm going to do off camera is I'm going to make up a bunch of armor piercing 9mm rounds. I'm going to make another SMG. Uh, so we have the two and another drum mod for it. I'm really stoked that we can actually put the drum mod on there. I didn't, you know, I didn't think we could. I, I assumed that was only for the M60. Uh, but we can, so that's great. So we're going to make another SMG. I'm going to make a bunch of armor piercing rounds. And then I think we're going to be ready to to go back out into the, the, the wide, wide world and, and continue doing our thing, only this time as a stealthy character. We're going to keep all of our 7.62 weapons and our sledgehammer intact and our shotgun as they are, so that way, if and when we want to switch back, you know, to that type of build, that stuff's all ready to go. And, uh, yeah, I think I think that's it. I think that's it. So, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video. And uh, when I see you in the next episode, we're going to do our first Tier 5 quest as a stealthy assassin character. Should be awesome. I'm probably going to get my ass kicked. <laughs> All right, guys. Take care. See you next time. Bye.